Hey guys, it's Lou, and today I'm going to show you how to install Optifine for Minecraft Java. If you're confused about what Optifine is, it enables you to use shaders and resource packs in Minecraft Java, which will make the visual settings of the game so much greater and more beautiful. Now you might be thinking, well this doesn't look that great. But right now I'm actually using the original texture pack with no shaders and no resource packs. But I just wanted to show you everything how it looks right now without those enabled. And this is actually a server with a few people that I met on Reddit and they have just been working here for so long and it's absolutely amazing. So this right here is just one of the houses that was built on this server. They're currently making a town and it's just absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see it with Optifine enabled. That over there is my poor pathetic excuse for a house, but it just isn't turning out the way that I want it to. So I'm gonna completely tear down that roof and start out with the stone one because I want a more drastic change between the birch wood and I think right now I'm using oak stairs. I think I'm gonna go with actually some stone slabs and uh, maybe just make it a pointed roof. It's gonna end up being a lake house, but so far it's nothing great. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to actually download Optifine. We're gonna go over to Reddit and I'm gonna put in r slash Optifine. And once you're here, you're going to find that the websites are listed here and these are the actual only real websites for Optifine. So if Joe Schmo gives you a website that does not look like this one, please do not go to it because it could be full of viruses and backdoors and trojans. Okay, now I'm gonna open up the site in a new tab. And since I'm using Windows and also Minecraft 1.14.4, I'm going to select this top one. But before you go to this site, I would suggest that you get a good form of ad blocker. I'm using uBlock and so far it has not let me down. Also, before you start the download, you're going to want to go to Java and download Java for this. It is a jar file, so the only way you'll be able to run it is if you have this installed on your computer. Now that we're here, we're going to go to the site and um, it's going to come up with a bunch of pop-ups and you're just going to want to bypass those. And let's see, this is basically saying I should disable my ad blocker. Uh, do not do that because they just want to infect your computer and then block this pop-up and we gotta wait the few seconds so we can actually get to the site now we can skip the ad and here's the actual download so you're gonna download this onto your computer and you'll already have Java installed at this point I already have this downloaded I did this earlier so that I wouldn't be completely lost when I'm doing this tutorial now I'm just gonna close all these tabs and I'm going to go to the Minecraft launcher on my desktop. There we go. So you're going to go to installations here at the top and I have my Optifine there. When you're going through the installation process, it will inform you that it's going to put that straight into your Minecraft launcher. Then you're just going to make another installation file like I did. I named mine Optifine so that I knew which one it was. This is just in case I didn't want to use it every time. Actually, after doing a lot of research on this, I did read that it actually makes Minecraft run smoother. So if you're afraid that your system can't handle it, it may actually end up making your system handle Minecraft better altogether. Now that I'm in the game options, I'm just going to go through and change a few things, but these really don't make much of a difference. The big thing is these shaders right here. I have some zip folders. And on this site, I'm going to show you these are the ones that I chose for this. I chose a natural one and a realistic one. Uh, let's put them side by side so you can see what I'm actually talking about. So I like to wiggle my mouse around and I'm really sorry about that. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to these download files and there's a ton of them and this site is directly from Minecraft. It tells you to go here so you know this is safe. And so these, let me see, I chose this one and it's just going to open it up and show you what it looks like. If you heard that, my dog just moaned in his sleep. I'm sorry about that. Okay, now when it comes to downloading these, I found the easiest way to keep track of the files 
is to open up the shaders folder so you know where it is. And then I just see that they're in there. These are the two that I downloaded. And the easiest way to keep track of these downloads is to just open up another file explorer session and then pull them from your downloads folder right into that folder. Okay, now that we did the shaders, I'm gonna go on and show you the resource packs. As you can see, I have the Modern Arc resource pack and that really makes things look um, real, actually. It's crazy. And so I'm gonna open up Chrome and I'm just gonna type in resource packs for Minecraft and see what comes up. I did this earlier, the site seems very safe. And I chose this one at the top. And there's so many of them, you can make it look like anything cartoony, you can make it look real. I chose, yeah, there's the modern arc. And that's just a view of like what some of the things are. And it looks like the download is here. And you're gonna select that zip file. Find out where it goes to on your drive, whether it's the C or the data drive, and then open up your resource pack folder. And you'll see I have it in there right now. But what you're gonna wanna do is keep that folder up and then just drag and drop it like you did with the shaders. Now I'm just gonna go through and make sure everything that I installed on there is enabled so that I can get the full details that I want. So the shaders and research packs should be good to go. And here it is. Wow, look at the complete difference. Everything looks so real. The grass looks beautiful. I need to close my door, there's so many mobs. Yeah, look at that grass, look at the sky. The clouds look real. Look at these houses that they all built. I really wanna show you guys the water. I need to get down to the little lake that they put together. I just wanna let you guys know that I actually had no part in building this city. I just joined this server a few weeks ago. I've pretty much just been working on my house here whenever I have free time. But all of this they did by hand and I am so impressed. It's so beautiful and even more so with the Optifine. I really hope that it works for you guys and that you're able to experience Minecraft in this really ultra realistic way. Now I just need to find that water. I want to show you the water. It just is insane to me. Oh yeah, look at the water. It looks real. It looks like something that you would see in, I don't know, like a newer game. There's even reflections on it. And the lights, they shine so beautifully. There's actually so much more to this map, and I'm going to include it in some videos in the future. But I just wanted to uh, quickly show you guys so you just have an idea of what your Minecraft can look like too. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to install Optifine for Minecraft Java and also how to find resource packs and shaders for Optifine in Minecraft Java. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and if you like this video, then subscribe and I'll try to put more content out like this in the future.